Everyone, please turn off your cell phones and electronic devices. Um, County Clerk Annie Rabbit will now administer the oath of office to newly elected legislator Thomas J. Faggione, representing the 13th District. Everyone, please stand for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Please do roll call. Amo? Here. Anaya Mustakis? Here. Benton? Here. Berkman? Here. Anasik? Here. Anelli? Here. Brescia? Here. Cantorino? Here. Heaney? Here. Dillard? Here. Casalvo? Present. Ikis? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Chemnitz? Here. Pulisic? Here. Paduk? Here. Miscavige? Here. Sullivan? Here. Turnbull? Here. Zero? Here. 21 present manager. Ladies and gentlemen, your first order of business today is to elect a chairman for the year 2016. I will now accept nominations. Yes, Legislator Miscavige. I would like to nominate L. Stephen Brescia for chairman of the legislature. Uh, I don't normally write out speeches and read from them, but I'm going to make an exception in this case because I don't want to forget any of the great things Steve asked me to say about them. <laughs> I also want to keep this brief because I know that Steve's acceptance speeches can sometimes be a little lengthy. But seriously though, I think that Steve is the best choice for chairman. One of the keys to having an effective legislature is having an effective chairman. Steve has served as chairman for the past two years and has done an excellent job. He works to ensure that everyone has the opportunity to provide input on issues and works hard to build consensus, which isn't always an easy task. I was most impressed with Steve last year at this time when he was re-elected chairman. In his acceptance speech, he said a lot of things that needed to be said at the time and did a great job of expressing what all of us as legislators were thinking and feeling. Since then, I think we have <clears throat> seen a great deal of positive change. Communication has improved, not only within the legislature, but also between the legislature and the county exec's office. Steve's monthly roundtable meetings have also helped to facilitate this communication. Steve and I don't always agree on every issue, but the lines of communication are always open, as they are with every legislator. Steve, you are a true leader, and I am honored to be able to nominate you for chairman of the legislature. Do we have a second? It's my distinguished pleasure to second that nomination. Thank you. The name of L. Stephen Brescia has been presented as chairman for the year 2016. Are there any other nominations? Legislator Perdue. Thank you. Um, I would just like to nominate my friend Jeff Berkman here. 
uh, for chairman of the legislature for the next year. The reason being very simple. Government, as we sit here, is supposed to be inclusive to work with everyone. Uh, we all have the same responsibilities. We should be sharing those responsibilities. Um, I could say that Mr. Brescia has done a, a fairly decent job. Um, I think there's some out, outreach, more outreach that could be done in regards to a few issues that really damaged this legislature, in my opinion. Um, I won't mention them, but if you think about them, you might remember what they might be. Um, I think it's important that we all can work together, that we all listen to each other a little bit more than we have been. We've worked on some great issues together in the past years, and we've worked together, which is a, a good a compliment to Mr. Breshin. However, I think there's a lot more that can be done, and I is the, that's the reason that I'm nominating Jeff Berkman for chairman of the legislature. We have a second? Okay. Chairman Bull? The name of Jeffrey D. Berkman has been presented also as chairman for the year 2016. Are there any other nominations? There being no other nominations, may I have a motion to close the nomination? No. Legislator Nagmastakis, thank you. All in favor? Uh, Anyone? No, No, I need a second. I need just second. a second on it. Ms. Sullivan, thank you. All in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed? Thank you. The deputy clerk will poll the legislature. Please indicate by stating the name of the person you are supporting for chair. Emma? Russia. And Anastakis? Russia. Ben? Russia. Berkman? Berkman. Bonasek? Russia. Benelli? Russia. Russia? Russia. Cantorina? <laughs> Russia. Heaney? Russia. Dillard? Berkman. Pisava? Russia. Ikis? Berkman. Fagion? Russia. Hines? Russia. Hemnitz? Berkman. Pulisar? Berkman. Paduk? Berkman. Briskevich? Russia. Sullivan? Berkman. Turnbull? Berkman. Bureau? Paul Stephen, Russia. Russia 13, Berkman 8. Bill Stephen Gresham has been elected as chairman of the Orange County Legislature for the year 2016. Good afternoon, everybody, and here we are at our reorganization meeting, and I'm very proud to announce that the Republican Caucus has chosen, once again, Melissa Bonasek to be our majority leader. Melissa has led with um, consensus building, compassion, integrity, and wit, which is definitely needed in our caucus as well as the entire legislature. She has done a tremendous job, and that is why we have unanimously, unanimously supported her once again for the year 2016 to be the majority leader of the Orange County Legislature. Congratulations, Melissa, and thank you for your past efforts, and we look for you forward to a great future. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, for the 2016 legislative year, the Democratic Caucus is unanimously 
nominating and electing Matt Turnbull as the Democratic caucus leader. And I want to stress that, and I know Matt agrees. We are not the minority, by the way. We are the Democrats. And um, we're looking for some great energy and invigoration by Matt. We feel that he can speak to everybody, and he will be doing that. So get ready to listen to what Matt has to say. And I want to thank him for taking over this job from me. Again, Matt Turnbull, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I don't always ag agree with uh, all the Democrats, but I guess I feel uncomfortable being the minority leader here. Uh, it's strange. So, but I can tell you, my caucus unanimously appointed me as their caucus leader for 2016. Would Steve's mom, Phyllis, and sister Stacy please join County Clerk Annie Rabbit at the front of the auditorium for the administration of the oath of office to the chairman? Thank you, legislators, legislature. Thank you, Paul, for the nominating speech and Jim for the seconding. Thank you to my sister Stacy for being here and my mother Phyllis. My mother's a little shy like I am, so she's not. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's where I get it from, I think. But uh, thank you. Uh, county exec has to leave at 4 o'clock to, to do a conference call on economic development, which he's uh, very good at. So. Um, no speech like last year. 2015 was a much more refreshing and rewarding year than 2014, and I'm so thankful for that. Um, last year I did need to get a few things off my chest, and you got things off your chest, and when you and I disagree, I just tell you you're wrong and we move on, right? Now? <laughs> you agree. <laughs> you're right. You agree. We agree. But uh, thank you. I think, I think we've definitely come a long way since 2014, and we definitely are working I didn't plan any speech today, by the way, so we definitely are working more collaboratively. We've done it in many regards. We've settled union contracts that were brought to us by Commissioner Gross and the county executive side of the house. Um, the early retirement, we've seen the fruits of that in 2015, the savings that we've uh, acquired, and also on the um, separation agreement and many other measures that, we, that, uh, that have come from this side of the house, the county exec side of the house, commissioners and employees and we really come a long way I'm, I'm happy that the county government center is finally underway um, they're due to sign contracts within the next month or two uh, we should be in that facility mid to late 2017 if all goes well uh, valley view um, we plan on keeping valley view the county run facility and thankfully we've gotten the cost down from 10 million plus to somewhere in the neighborhood of 2 million and we need to keep it there uh, John Bureau pointed out to me that we are going to have quite a few bonding issues to deal with maintenance over at Valley View, and we're going to have to look seriously at them. But we need to keep those costs affordable and um, thus keep Valley View and county run hands. So with that said, um, you know, we're on board with the trail in Middletown and Wallkill and Goshen as well. Um, you know, I think with the IDA money that was suggested by Jim Kulisek and passed, 
the IDA a month ago uh, was a great idea. And, and just so many other things. I'm, I'm not going to be long-winded. I'm just pleased with the way things are going. I wish Shannon all the best in her new endeavors. It's something that's near, a job that's near and dear to her heart. And I welcome aboard Tom Faggione and Phil Cantorino. And they've hit the ground running and have been very engaging right from the get-go. So we'll continue our roundtable meetings with the county exec. Um, and by the way, whether it was Myrna's idea or Steve Newhouse's idea or Mike and Agnes Stockis' idea with the property at Valley View to, to uh, develop that property related to health and, and senior citizens and so on and so forth, it's a great idea and we're all on board with you on that. So uh, I know you're getting proposals together and RFP is going out soon. And uh, like you said, the, car the aircraft carrier is not turning quickly, but it is turning. We've gotten the deficit down and, and things are looking a lot brighter. And I'd like to continue in that vein. And I have an open door policy and I'll try to be amenable to everything. I know Chris mentioned to me this morning about the Green Study Committee, which we hope to resurrect. And uh, I just told Chris that let's try to come up with some positive ideas, not a thousand ideas that we can be all over the place with, but things that we can incorporate into county government, whether it's through the DPW, the airport, or wherever. The airport committee is, is in full, uh, full gear, looking at cost savings there as well, and uh, what we're going to do with in that uh, end of the county, which is the end I represent, actually. So, But thank you again, and uh, let's get on with the meeting. Benelli, resolution adopting the legislative manual for the County of Orange and the rules of order and procedure for the Orange County Legislature as previously amended pursuant to section 2.02a of the Orange County Charter, section 153 of the County Law, and Article 2C1E, Article 3, Introduction, and Article 4E1A and B of said legislative manual. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Amo, yeah. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikes, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Riskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia. 21 eyes. Okay, number two. Legislator Benelli, resolution establishing legislative calendar for 2016 pursuant to Article 2C1F of the Legislative Manual. Second. Discussion? Legislator Benelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and congratulations to you as being chairman for 2016. You've done a remarkable job, and we expect a lot of great things from you in the coming weeks. Say that and with a serious months. face, please. <laughs> No, it's been a pleasure to work with you in all seriousness. Uh, I would like to amend this particular resolution. Uh, if you note that we see that all of the meetings are scheduled for 3.30 in the afternoon, except for the April meeting, which is scheduled for 10 o'clock in the morning, and that's due to the Youth and Government Program. But I would like to amend the May meeting of May 5th, 2016, the July 7th meeting, and also the October 6th annual meeting for 2016, and amend the times to 7 p.m. There a second? Okay, discussion? Yes, Jeff. First, Mr. Bresci, congratulations. Congratulations on being elected chair. Looking forward, forward to working cooperatively, cooperatively with you like we have in the past. Okay. Uh, I'm delighted that uh, somebody from your caucus has taken the initiative to change to a couple of evening meetings since the Democrats have been uh, calling for that for a very long time. So I'm happy to support it. Okay, roll call. Anasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? No. Nagdastakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikes, Fagione, Hines,
Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes, 1 no. That was on the amendment? Yes. Okay, so now we need to vote on the motion. Bonasek? Yes. Trumbull? Yes. Amo? No. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Brescia? 20 ayes, 1 no. Okay, number three, receive and file. Okay. Oh, you've got to read it first? Okay. Designation by members of the Orange County Legislature representing the Republican Party of Newspapers to publish the concurrent resolutions of the state legislature and election notices to be published in 2016 pursuant to Section 214 of County Law. To publish the concurrent resolutions of the legislature, the Sentinel, News of the Highlands, Times Community Newspapers, election notices, issued by the Secretary of State, the Sentinel, Times Community Newspapers, News of the Highlands, Warwick Advertiser, Photo News, Orange County Post, Times Herald Record. Okay, receive and file. Now number four. Designation by members of the county legislature representing the Democratic Party of Newspapers to publish the concurrent resolutions of the state legislature and election notices to be published in 2016 pursuant to section 214 of the county law to publish the concurrent resolutions of the legislature, independent Republican, Hudson Valley Press, to publish the election notices issued by the Secretary of State, Times Community Newspapers, Times Herald Record, independent Republican, Hudson Valley Press. Receive and file. Number five. Designation by members of the county legislature representing the Republican Party of Newspapers to publish all local laws, notices, and other matters required by law to be published in 2016 pursuant to subdivision two of section 214 of the county law to publish as one of the official newspapers of the county legislature of the county of Orange all local laws, notices, and other matters required to be published by the county legislature of the Sentinel. To publish as one of the official newspapers of the county legislature of the county of Orange all local laws, notices, and other matters required to be published by the county legislature, Warwick Advertiser Photo News. To publish as one of the official newspapers of the county legislature of the county of Orange all local laws, notices, and other matters required to be published by the county legislature, News of the Highlands. Okay, receive and file, number six. Designation by members of the county legislature representing the Democratic Party of newspapers to publish all local laws, notices, and other matters required by law to be published in 2016, pursuant to subdivision two of section 214 of the county law, to publish as one of the official newspapers of the county legislature of the county of Orange all local laws, notices, and other matters required to be published by the county legislature, Times Community Newspapers, to publish as one of the official newspapers of the county legislature of the County of Orange, all local laws, notices, and other matters required to be published by the County Legislature, Hudson Valley Press. And receive and file number seven. Legislator Benelli, resolution designating newspapers published within the county as official newspapers for the publication of all local laws, notices, and other matters required by law to be published in 2016, pursuant to subdivision two of section 214 of the county law. Discussion? Roll call. Oh, yes, Legislator Amo. I mean, it shouldn't go unnoticed that the independent party doesn't have a position on newspapers because we're in the 26th, 21st century. We get all our news on the internet. <laughs> You're here. Okay. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Pantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, Brescia. 21 eyes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Okay, before we I entertain a motion to adjourn, Majority Leader Bonasek wants to say something, something but before she does, um, do we have to sign, we need to sign the books here today, so everybody stay after and make sure you sign the resolutions for the, resolutions for the papers, I'm sorry, for the designations. Okay, okay, Melissa. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, really, we haven't seen each other since last year, so I, I just wanted to first say Happy New Year to everybody, and I look forward to a great year working with all of us up here. Um, I wanted to congratulate Steve on being elected chairman again. Um, I think you've done a great job, and I know you'll continue to do a great job. Um, congratulations, Mike Gamal, I'm sure <laughs> it was a contentious vote. Um, and also, I want to congratulate Matt Turnbull. Matt, I look forward to working with you in the leadership uh, capacity. 
but also I wanted to thank Chris Ekis, and, and I, I would be amiss if I didn't say something. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure working with Chris, and maybe for some people they'd say that that's not a good thing, but I think good government, it is a good thing. It's a good thing to agree. It's a good thing, it's a healthy thing to disagree, but when we disagree, we agree to disagree and we move on. And Chris, you are fantastic um, working with, so I wanted to say thank you very much for that and for all the time that you put in to that position. Thank you, and again, Matt, I look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you, I, okay, I'd like to just echo what Melissa said and congratulate you, Matt, and look forward to working with you. And it's been, it was a pleasure working with Chris as well. So congratulations to you and Michael and Melissa on your um, leadership positions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Now to reveal the real reason I wanted to be minority leader, um, so I didn't have to sit behind Kevin Hines anymore. I could sit next to him, and we, we can now discuss basketball. Um, of course, congratulations to all the newly elected, uh, Mr. Chairman. I look forward to working with you. Um, you know, I can remember days long ago when you were little Stevie Brescia, um, you know, and your, your, uh, your great father. He was just uh, an experienced, you know, a, a guy that I have fond memories of knowing. Um, and uh, of course, to Melissa, elected again, and Mr. Amo. Um, and the fantastic job that my fellow Democrat, Mr. Ekes, did in the past year. He's really brought us along and uh, a real power of example to me, and I'll be calling on him for help often. Um, you know, my fear is we may be starting this year off on the wrong note. Um, I'm a big fan of representative government, and that's the type of government I think the people of Orange County deserve. Now, uh, eight of us up here out of the 21 are Democrats. Seems to me, for that reason, if you really want to be representative of the people of Orange County, and by the way, last time I looked, most of, there were more Democrats in Orange County than Republicans. You know, so representative government would kind of suggest that some of these committees would be led by Democrats. And we were headed in the right direction after a year of not having a Democrat being a chairman of a statutory committee. Last year we did have at least one. And you know, we were hoping for two this year. But the word I'm getting is that there will be none. And for me, that starts the year up on the wrong note. And I hope the chairman reconsiders that. Because Mr. Baduke did a heck of a job heading that committee. You know, and we need more of his good work. You know, and he shouldn't be replaced. He should continue to head that committee. And I'm hoping that a Democrat will head the Green Committee, because us Democrats are a hell, heck of a lot more green than the Republicans are. And I think we'll do a better job. But I look forward to uh, seeing what we can do. I think in the end, all of us kind of believe in the same thing. We just got to talk more and kind of get on the same page. And that's what I'm hoping for in 2016. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. Hey, we're adjourned.